Well, good morning. Hello. Today it's evening for me when I'm talking to you. And you can see I have my mask on. I don't need it on right now, though, because I'm here by myself. And so I'm going to do the video for our lesson today. And I, I don't need to wear a, a mask. And it's kind of nice to take it off a little bit. I saw some of the people I know from church today. And I almost didn't recognize them because they had their masks on. And uh, they, they took them off to smile so that we could see each other's smiles for a minute. And that was kind of nice. Because I miss you guys and I miss your smiles. You can see it's just me tonight. Um, Mr. Rudy is in Texas. I right now am still in California praying for the firefighters to be able to put these fires out. Or perhaps God will pour, pour down some rain on us to make those fires go out. We've got to pray about that. But I'm glad to be here right now. Um, I'm missing Rudy. I'm missing our dog Dottie too. She's with him. I'm going to fly back to Texas on Thursday of this week. So I'm hoping that next time we do a lesson, it will be both Mr. Rudy and me. But you've got me today. And we're still in the book of, we're still in the Old Testament, and we're still talking about Moses. And uh, today we're going to talk about the Exodus. And the Exodus is, Exodus is another word for getting out, going away. And the Israelites, Moses led them to go away from Pharaoh, away from Egypt. And it's an epic story. It's something that um, Jews study, that Christians study, and that much of our faith, um, much of the things we believe, the Exodus is a, um, it's kind of a picture of some of the things we believe in. So um, before we get started though, let, let's go ahead and pray, okay? Oh, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us to get together. We'd like to get together, Lord, in person. But just as we don't see you in person, our inability to see each other in person, um, it just makes our hearts grow fonder. We miss each other, and we certainly are going to celebrate when we can do that again. And until we can, Lord, we ask that you bless our gathering and we, you bless our use of the technology. And you bless our use of the time that we're apart. So that we are worshiping you. So that we are praying for each other. And so that we're getting ready by doing your will, Lord. For that time that we can celebrate when we're all together again. I pray this in Jesus' name. So yeah. This lesson is about the Exodus, and um, it's, it's about a trip that the Israelites take. They walk, they travel very far, they leave Egypt, they come out of slavery, they're not in bondage anymore, and so they're, they're moving ahead, moving forward. It's a giant, giant journey, it's a hard journey, it's a difficult journey, and they, they encounter many problems along the way. And um, while it sounds like it's about a story about a trip that they took, a journey that they made, it's every bit as much a story about God's power. It's about God's, God's power to, to lead us. That when we are in His will, He has a plan for us, and He will lead us where He wants us to go. And the Exodus is a great illustration of how that happens. Uh, it's, it's also a story about God's power to save us. They had been slaves for many generations. And they, had, they, they suffered as slaves. And God was powerful to be able to loosen Pharaoh's grip on them and to free them. And then when Pharaoh chased after them, to protect them. And it's, it's also a lesson of God's power over his creation. God made the universe and everything we know about the universe he made. And yet, they, everything in the universe is at his command, is under his control. And the Exodus is a story that tells all those different ways, tells about all those different ways that God is so powerful. And you'll see that by the time the Egyptians left, excuse me, by the time the Israelites left Egypt, the Egyptians were really very anxious for them to go. 
They were, go, get out of here. We don't even want slaves anymore. You guys just get going. And so the Israelites, they had to move fast. They had to pack quickly. They made bread that they couldn't even wait for it to rise. And it's called unleavened bread. Kind of like a pita pocket or a matzah cracker that we'll have sometimes. They couldn't wait for it to rise up like bread usually does where it gets kind of fluffy. They had to leave very, very fast. And, and they were chased. The Pharaoh let them go. And then he kind of changed his mind and chased after them. And God protected them through all of this. This was very, very, very strange times for them. Very fearful times. Um, they, they, their whole rural world was turned upside down. And yet God was faithful. God was faithful and they trusted in him. And those are the big lessons. God's protection, he promises us. His faithfulness, his provision as they were uh, walking across the desert to make sure that they had what they needed to eat and what they needed to drink. And God provided. And he did so in a way that we may not see that immediately in our lives. We're at a much different time than the Israeli Israelites were living in. But yet God does still provide and he works mighty works in our lives. Our hearts have to be open. We want to be walking in his will. We want to make sure that we're doing what we think God wants us to do. And when we're not doing something that we know very well God doesn't want us to do, we stop as soon as we realize that. So this is the Exodus. It is an epic story. There are movies made about it. There are the, the, the story of the Exodus is the story of the ages. So we've got a little bit of a lesson for you. We've got, uh, we've got some worship to do. We've got some printables for you to play with. And I hope you're all well. I hope you enjoy the lesson. And next week, I'm hoping that Mr. Rudy will be on the video with me. And very soon after that, I'm hoping very much that we'll be able to see you. But until we can, we're praying for you, we're thinking about you, and we're doing everything we can to make sure that you continue to learn about how much God loves you and how important God is to have in your life. So until next time, everybody take care. Bye.